a little bit about what core values align with College Station ISD yourself internally and what you hope to be able to do for the industry? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, the values are College Station's about their staff and they're about their students and the decisions that they make are to impact both of those groups in a positive way and uh, that allows with everything that I do. Uh, every decision we make, every dollar we uh, spend is about kids and about our staff members to create the best uh, educational experience that we can. And uh, I've been in the uh, Region 6 area for the last 11 years, so I'm very much aware of College Station, the reputation, and uh, the great product that they've done over the last several years. So what are some of your plans if you become the superintendent? Obviously you have that 21 days, but what right. are those plans that you have to store? Honestly, plans are to come in and, and listen, uh, to meet quite a few people and listen and learn uh, the values and everything that's going on at College Station. What are our initiatives? What are our focuses? What are the plans for the team that we need to address for this coming year? What are we doing well? Or where do we think we need to get better? And so I plan on going just to be a, uh, being on a listening tour. I'm, I'm on campuses uh, every day. A lot I like to be out and about, and I like to be around my staff, and I like to understand what they're doing, and I can't do that from my office, so I'm not in my office very often. I'm, I'm out quite a bit, and just looking forward to meeting everyone in the community and uh, getting ready for this new school year. Can you describe the thoughts and feelings in your mind whenever everyone was kind of in unanimous approval and just what you did? Yeah, there's, there's been a lot going through my mind since I uh, went through the process and got the call that the board was planning to name me today. So uh, excitement, uh, scared, nervous, all of those emotions, but uh, it's also extremely exciting. Uh, my family and I, my wife Tony and daughter Meredith are excited about joining the College Station community. Uh, and there's a lot to learn, and uh, that's, that's what motivates me. You know, something new, a different challenge. Very blessed to have worked in Willis ISD for the last 11 years. It's a great community and uh, I think I have God's blessing to work in a, better, a great community here as well. Hi, Bill Oliver, WTW Radio. Uh, in my 40-something years off and on doing this, I've never had a school board member from the prior district come to the new district and give you a vote of support, a vote of confidence. What was that yes, like? Well, he surprised me coming over today. Uh, he dropped a hint that he may be here, and I was not expecting him to be here. Uh, I think it just goes to show, uh, you know, confirm what the board thought about me during the interview process, that I am the person that I say I am, uh, deliver what I promise. I'm very black and white. Uh, what Cliff said about staffs and, and our staff and our students, that, that's where my focus is. You know, I treat our budget and our money like it's my own checking account. Uh, we don't waste money. Uh, we take care of our taxpayers and we deliver what we're going to promise to our taxpayers. So what, what drew the interest? Uh, honestly, just uh, the, the opportunity potentially to explore uh, a larger district uh, with a great support system and also a great, great history and a great reputation. And uh, I thought, number one, it would be a good place for my daughter. And, you know, my career is important to me, but my daughter's high school career is more important. And uh, so that was the first thing I looked at was when I put my daughter here uh, at either high school. And yes, both of those boxes were checked. And so I think from there, it was my wife and I establishing that this was uh, in our plans. And after the first interview, I immediately hit it off with all seven board members. You can tell that they genuinely have a relationship with each other on outside of school business, uh, and that was a huge draw for me as well. What year is your daughter going into? She'll be a freshman. She'll be a freshman, so obviously a transition year for her, and a little scary, not many 14-year-olds that are looking to move, but she's excited about the opportunity. But also appropriate timing that you get to, your daughter can start and, and Presumably absolutely. finish her high school career. A absolutely. You know, she's been blessed that she started pre-K and elementary all the way through eighth grade at Willis, which is a blessing in, in our line of work. You never know uh, what, what that time span looks like. So our 11 years there have been great. And, uh, yes, yeah, she'll get to have the opportunity to finish her high school career here at College Station. So with this transition, you're drinking from a fire hose, obviously, here at the beginning. But what's the culture of CSISD compared to Willis? Yeah, that's what... That's that's what I've got to get figured out. You know, I know just from being in the Regional Service Center the last uh, 11 years that their values and the leadership teams, members that have been in College Station that I've had the ability to work with, uh, they're solid people. And so I know that the value system's there. 
and uh, things will be a little bit different. You know, I get motivated by, by change and the unknown. There'll be a lot of unknown for me, but there's a great core team of cabinet members and central office here that I'll lean on pretty heavy to guide and direct me early on in the, in the first several months. What were the questions that you were asking before? Uh, honestly, what, what's the, you know, watching board meetings and seeing that the long-term planning committee uh, proposed a $350 million bond election. So that obviously got my attention real quick of what that's all about. Watched that board meeting, made notes, got the PowerPoint, talked a little bit about that, talked about really in the future what, what they would like to see, what direction they would like to see uh, the district go, you know, and kind of the same four questions I asked them, I will ask every member of our leadership team, what are we doing well? What do we need to do better? And what would you like to see us do in the future? And I think that will give me kind of my game plan and my focus for the first year. Yeah, that, that bond is certainly looming here quick. Just, you know, what's going to be your approach to that, knowing that that is probably going to be one of the biggest hurdles you face early on? Yeah, absolutely. I think I would love to meet with the members of the team that came up with that, the members of the community members and the spokesperson for that, and kind of walk me through the process and, and where – how we got to this conclusion and because it seems like they were pretty unanimous of what they wanted to do and I know the board's plan over the next two months is to get that finalized and, and game plan of exactly what it's going to entail what the cost is going to be uh, I've been blessed to be able to have passed three bond elections in Willis uh, since I've started so that experience will, will help me uh, obviously tremendously and I think in my opinion yeah it's a lot going on in a short amount of time but it also allows me to get out in the community and meet a lot of people at a faster pace than maybe I would have been able to uh, without a bond election. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, having something like that right from the get-go, does that, does that kind of get you going to where, you know, you don't have to just sit in your office and wait for people to come to you? A absolutely. I'm relationship-driven, so the more people that I can get in front of and, and build positive relationships, I think it does nothing but help our school district, and uh, that will definitely be my plan early on. Is there anything that you learned while you were with Willis ISD that you hope to implement in this role if you're given the chance? Yeah, absolutely. I think... Uh, Patience, I think that's one of the number one. You know, we are a, uh, I need it right now, uh, society. And if something happens, we need an answer right now. And I think patience, I think really evaluating, uh, you know, how we're doing, how we're performing. Uh, negatives are going to happen uh, at some point in time. I'm a firm believer that our job is to put out the positive stories that are taking place in College Station ISD every single day. And our goal is always to do a Google search. And the first 20 stories are good stories. There's going to be the one off every now and then, but if we're not doing a good job at the campus level and district level of telling the great things we're doing, sometimes the negativity seems to be taken over in the majority when actuality is really not at all. Any thoughts that you're the first outside canon to be superintendent in at least a dozen years? You know, yeah, that was uh, came up during the interview because uh, I specifically asked uh, how was the staff, you know, going outside after staying inside for the last 16 years creates a lot of unknown for the staff. But I can assure the staff that, that I'm, a, I'm a partner in this educational journey. You know, uh, I may have the title of superintendent and technically be the boss, but I, I I conduct myself as a partner in this. I do not have all the answers. Uh, I do not surround myself or want yes people around me. I want people that can challenge me as I challenge them, and it's, it's not personal. It's just making the most informed decisions that we can to help our students. Been a couple of references that this could be your final professional stop. You know, if I could draw it up like that, I would, I would love it to be. You know, I'm not one that, uh, since I've got into the administrative route, especially at the superintendent's role, uh, that need to jump around and move around. You know, I like to, to be able to sit still and actually have my hands on something and watch it to fruition. And I was blessed to be able to do that in Willis and would love the opportunity to do that here in College Station as well. Got about a 15 second look at your bio from Willis ISD. So what's it like for a former baseball prospect to be in this position at this time of your life? Uh, it's, uh, it's exciting. You know, when I finished my doctorate degree three years ago, that, that, in my mind, that was the culmination to separate me from baseball player uh, to school administration and, and, and business person. Uh, I've never wanted to be known as just a baseball player. And I see it too many times, professional athletes uh, finish playing and they don't know what to do. And uh, I've, I've been driven ever since then that I'm introduced as, in this context, Dr. Tim Harkrider, superintendent of College Station ISD. And oh, by the way, he did used to play baseball. And uh, that, that has come full circle for me and excited for that. Have many hats. 